I'm going to show you how to gel your strobe with a CTO in order to make the environment blue. And we're going to do it all in camera during a fashion shoot in Times Square. I'm Lindsay Adler and early on in my photography I learned that mixed light is bad. So what do I mean about mixed light? Well I'm talking about mixed color temperatures. For example if you have daylight coming in from a window and then tungsten coming in from a lamp you shouldn't have both of those elements on your subject. However in this scene we're actually going to use mixed white balances on purpose for creative effect. All right, so here's how it works. That purple dress on the subject is stunning. And I thought if I could find a way to make the entire background appear blue in camera, well, then I'd have an analogous color scheme. Having those blues and those purples, she'd feel more united with the background. But I didn't want her to appear too cool and too blue on the face. I still wanted an ideal skin tone. So let me break down what I mean. When you take a strobe out in location, it's going to be a daylight balance light source. And so you set your white balance to daylight, and that's what gives you correct skin tones. Now, let's say that I add a CTO, color temperature orange gel, to that strobe. What it does is it creates a very warm, uh, in other words, tungsten white balance light source. So what happens is my subject is going to look super orange, very, very yellow. It's not looking good. But I can fix that by changing my camera's white balance. I'll switch over to that tungsten preset. It looks great. However, when I take that yellow light on the face and I cool it down, it cools down the entire environment. But that is where I have my creative effect in place because now I have correct skin tones all over the subject and her face, but the background is going to be blue. Now, I tried this first with a preset of tungsten, but guess what? The background, it just wasn't quite going cool enough. So what I did is I folded over and I doubled up that orange gel. So I took it from being 3200 Kelvin tungsten and then I brought it down to 2600 Kelvin. So I actually went in and did a custom white balance. I adjusted it, made it 2600, and when I took that photograph, it became a bright blue, beautiful background, but I still maintained the correct colors of her skin tone. Now let me tell you a little bit more about the lighting in this scene. In this shot, I used a Profoto B1 and a Profoto Beauty Dish with a grid. Now in the beginning of the shot, I actually shot it without a grid on it, but I felt like the subject was being lit a little bit too much from head to toe. Instead, I wanted most of the attention of that artificial light to bring your eye to her face. So we added a grid to concentrate that light just a little bit more. And I liked it as well because her face was a little bit warm, but the rest of the dress was getting a lot of that cool blue light. For this shoot, I used my Canon R5 and a 35 millimeter 1.4 lens. The reason I chose it is I wanted a wide view so I could get a lot of the interesting scene, but I didn't want there to be a lot of distractions, so I chose to shoot wide open at 1.4 and soften that background just a little bit. So I got the light and I got the right depth of field and the right composition, and then it was all about getting the right expression pose and adding a little bit of movement to the scene. Now, in fact, I think I only shot for about a minute because I didn't want to worry about traffic and people and so much going on. So I prepped my light, I prepped my exposure, and then all I had to do is add my subject in and just capture that perfect moment. All right, so what's your takeaway? In order to change the colors in the scene, you don't have to rely on Photoshop. There is a lot you can achieve when you play with changing color temperatures and mixing color temperatures of light in your photographs. Now, if you'd like to see the gear used in the creation of this image, be sure to check out the links in the description below and visit adorama.com. And of course, be sure to subscribe because I've got a lot more tips and tricks and a lot more great fashion shoots coming your way. Thanks guys, see you next time.